What's up, people? Um, today's tip that I want to give you is is focused on bodybuilding diet or competition prep. Um, I'm basically going to just give you what I do just in case people want a little bit of info that's never competed and just kind of give you something to lead you in the right, right direction. Um, so first off, I've tried so many different diets. I didn't have anybody to help me out. So I had to learn a lot of things through trial and error. And um, I tried low calorie, low fat. Um, just recently tried intermittent fasting. And you know, for the most part, these things don't work for me. But the one thing that does work for me is low carbs. Um, I'm not talking about keto, just strictly low carbs. And I, what I normally do is I keep it between 75 and 100. Um, and I bump the protein up to around 300 grams. And a lot of the protein that I get, just because I don't feel like eating, it'll come from my protein powders. And I know that's not a good thing to do, but hell, it is what it is. Um, I use the IsoPure because um, it has zero carbs. Uh, my protein sources, as far as meat goes, the only types of meat I eat is white fish. Uh, I have lean ground, lean ground beef once out the week. And... Um, what else is this? Shit, my carbs low right now. I can't think clear. What else? Oh, yeah, obviously chicken breast and lean ground turkey or turkey breast. What I do is I like to keep it simple because a lot of people like to overcomplicate things and they want to focus on things such as um, sodium dropping, um, trying to time your carbs up after you finish your workout. workout. And it shouldn't be this complicated. That's why I always tell people to get learn your body. And once you learn your body, you will really you will really be in tune with it and you will know exactly the way your body should respond to certain things. So I don't get too complicated with the um counting calories. The only thing I count is carbs and my protein. Because I like to keep it simple because when you're prepping for a competition, it's so much stress that you will have around you and you won't react to it the way you normally do. So one thing I don't want to, I don't want my diet to consume my whole life. And so I won't have to walk around just worrying every minute of the day. Make sure you don't put this in your body. Is this going to fuck me up? Is this going to work for me? So if you keep it simple, you know, you won't have to go through those, you know, those moments. Um, and it's just easier to remember. And when you keep it simple, you know, you only can eat these certain things. So if you know you only eat these certain things, the temptation or the thought shouldn't come across your mind that, okay, I'm going to, I see somebody else carving up on pizza once out of the week. So hell, I can do that too. No, ain't none of that shit. You know, you got these five protein sources. Um, oh yeah, the carb sources that I have um, consist of sweet potatoes, brown rice, jasmine rice, and... Oatmeal and grits. Well, I love grits. I can eat that all day. Um, so those are my protein sources and my carb sources. And I'll break them up into seven meals a day. Um, and as I get closer to the competition, what I'll do is on Thursdays and Fridays, i bump the carbs up from 100 to 300. And the night before a competition, what I'll do is i drop it down to 200 and i cut my water out. At six o'clock. And like I said, you know, it worked perfect for me. And everything else that I tried, I failed at. So there's no need to reinvent the wheel. If I kept it simple and it worked for me, might as well keep doing it. And that's why I try to tell a lot of people, you know, don't overcomplicate it. Understand what you can do. Learn your body and learn how your body responds to certain things. Because just because you see somebody else that does all this outrageous shit, that don't mean it's going to necessarily work for you. You might end up looking like shit. You know? Um, as far as supplements goes, I use Jet Fuel Pyro. And um, that's, a, that's Jet Fuel Pyro. Uh, ISO, isolated whey protein to ISO Pure. Um, a branch chain amino acids. Hell. Yeah, that's about it. And um, as far as water depletion, what I do, I take the expel. I don't fuck with the prescription diuretics because um, I don't need to. The expel work um, perfect for me. 
So what? Well, we got anything else? The 75 to 100 carbs. The 300 grams of protein. The seven meals a day. Keep it simple. Jet fuel pyro. Branched chain amino acids. Hell, that's it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and make a comment if you've got any questions.